Hello everybody, my name is John Glitch and I'm back and fired up to continue my adventure into Horizon 2 Forbidden West. When last we left off, we had uh, finally restored Gaia beyond 2%. She's probably like at 30% or something like now, I don't know. We restored her to a higher percentage after acquiring Minerva, who was less a murderous, sadistic AI and more depressed and wanted the misery to end. Yeah, I'm not going to get more into that. But anyway, we have uh, now established Gaia to a point where she can run this facility and we can establish a base of operations. Looks like um, an office. Correct. The facility was designed with a number of private offices. I guess it's nice to have a space to call your own. Indeed. Indeed. This is the, I'm guessing this is uh, us claiming our, our office. Aoi's office. What was she doing there? I don't really know what it, it we're doing in office. It'd probably actually be the lab where we can uh, repair overrides. Because I really, uh, discovered last time that turns out uh, we now have to gain supplies to actually fully acquire overrides. So the ability to, to fully acquire the ability to override certain machines. Even if we go into a cauldron and it gives us like schemat, it gives us like corrupted code that we have to repair by by acquiring pieces of machines that will then be processed through here, and then we can fully override them. How much did a guy build actually, like in terms of facilities? Like I know she built the cauldrons, but for advanced training modules on terraforming operations. Unfortunately, those modules were deleted when the Apollo database was destroyed. That's too bad. Hmm. But hey, you know, Apollo is still out there as a corrupted AI doing what? We don't know, but I mean, best guess, gathering knowledge like silence, but maybe to a actually less sadistic de uh, degree, <laughs> potentially. Um, well, these are the showers. Are they next to the shitters? What's this space for? This would have been the sleeping quarters for control center oh, operatives. No, Oh, this would be sleeping. Reminds me of the bed house aspirants had to sleep in the night before the proven. Hmm. Hmm. All right. So sleep. Oh, here's the shitter. Oh, hmm. I've been down here before. It's where I first got into the facility. Yeah. What's, What's all it this about? Stuff for? This facility was designed to process an immense amount of data from the terraforming system. This is where it would have been stored. Hmm. All right. Hey, you have now visited all accessible rooms of the facility. Really? I guess we're done. I mean, the main goal was to restore Gaia, and we have, to a percentage. Um, and there is still the other murderous AI, including most prominently Hephaestus and whoever is causing the blight, which is murderous plants, which is probably a murderous AI that controls the plants of this of this world because i know that was a thing and also there are, are alien humans who are invading and have also got a gaia back up to do who knows what but uh, so i guess we do have more stuff to do so i guess we're okay. going to be setting the stage for our attack maybe plans it's time maybe. to talk to gaia with gaia hey gaia so have you loaded the ability the to talk have you oh, updated enough uh, hi so you're ready? Yes. Initialization is complete. All tests show that my heuristic matrix launched correctly and is stable. You must have many questions. Yeah. But two big ones first. Subordinate functions? The strangers. Well, considering uh, she'll know less about uh, this one, I imagine she'll know more about, you know, stuff that was actually a part of her, so... Ask that We're one. not going to be able to fix the biosphere without making you whole. I ran a search for your sub-functions at the Hades Proving Lab, but Minerva was the only one I found. Thankfully, the sensory capabilities of this facility are far more advanced. I will search for the others now. Transmitting query pattern. Receiving. Hmm. Of Apollo Artificial. 
Optimus and Olympia, I can find no trace. They are simply gone. Hmm. What about the others? Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon are revealed. They lie within reach. Procurable. Okay, I imagine those guys will be safe for the next game. Manifestus? If it's not off-world. It too stands revealed, but it is not like the others. <laughs> That's for sure. In the years since the extinction signal, Hephaestus has evolved. Moreover, mm. it is not confined to a single location. More it haunts the global network that connects cauldrons to each other across the planet making it exceptionally difficult to subdue. Let me guess. We need it bad? Correct. Its capabilities are essential. Without it, I can only delay the extinction of life on Earth. Hmm. Hephaestus is our only hope of a permanent solution. Uh, of course. So we start there? Unfortunately, we cannot. Procuring Hephaestus can only be attempted after my own capabilities been significantly enhanced. Grab the other subordinate functions first, then Hephaestus. Granted. Precisely so. Presuming they are as so, not, they are Aether, more nice. Demeter, and Poseidon. How do I capture them? To recover a subordinate function, you will have to travel to its location and find the physical processor to which it escaped. Then, exactly as you did with Minerva, you must use the master override to revert the subordinate function to its original code state. And then how do I get it back here? The subordinate function must be loaded onto a data storage device and physically carried back to this facility. Hmm. Uh huh. So just like we did with Gaia. The cartridge your root kernel was stored on? Yes. Its capacity is limited. So it can only carry one subordinate function at a time. But in all other respects, it will suffice. Alright, cool. I guess now we bring up the big uh, old th triple question mark, which is the th uh, uh, four question mark. Though so that the one is, I imagine, less privy and more of a tool than an actual person, to le at least to those people. But yeah, those space dickheads. Maybe you can help me make sense of something. A while ago, I had a run-in with a group of... strangers who tried to kill me. They had machine cool. servitors, and a, um... A, a clone of Elizabeth Sobek with them. Yes, this was recorded by your focus. Yeah, I would imagine she wouldn't know this, actually. Yeah, she, scanned our, she also scanned our focus and learned her whole life story. Do you know who they are? The answer to that question is related to the extinction signal that woke Hades, prompting my predecessor's self-destruction. The extinction signal? Okay, that sounds ominous. The signal hmm. did not come from Earth, Aloy. Mm -hmm. The calculations are complicated, but it appears to have originated 81 trillion kilometers away. I feel like we can put the piece together in terms so of what AOA has scanned and learned. Itself requires 8.611 years to cross it. Wow. Okay, so... What's so far away and, and why does it want us dead? The Sirius star system. Sirius? But that's where Far Zenith, their yes. ship. The Odyssey. Yes, that's where it was headed. But it blew up. Unless. Uh, I don't. Why make it seem like they failed? That is a good question, actually. I didn't think of that. Despite it. They didn't want future humans to think that they were out there. Wait. The strangers who tried to kill me at the Hades Proving Lab? The ones with the clone? Are you saying that they're from... That they're descendants of... Far Zenith? Yes. And that then, yeah. Conclusion. Hmm. 
you know, somehow these guys somehow spin it to some we even more wild and freaking mind fucking conclusion conclusion wouldn't put it past them uh guerrilla games yeah. i mean god i knows i i don't think anyone knew knew where horizon zero dot uh the first game was going in terms of explaining robot dinosaurs versus uh tribalistic yeah cave woman with bow and arrow um hmm questions about tour question about fall Venus, the biosphere. Yeah, let's ask about this since it's on its own. What is the state of the biosphere? Is the terraforming system functioning at all? In a sense, the terraforming system never stopped functioning. Mm -hmm. The difference, since my predecessor's destruction, is that there has been no central governing intelligence to monitor its robotic agents and assign new tasks. Mm -hmm. As a result, errors have accrued, and day by day, the biosphere has gradually veered ever more sharply towards destruction. In recent months, disturbances in the biosphere have become obvious. But these bellwether phenomena offer just the merest glimpse of the complex and accelerating cycles of environmental dysfunction, now driving Earth's biosphere towards collapse. And you can't do anything to stop it? If you can return Ether, Poseidon, and Demeter to me, I can improvise modest corrections to parts of the system. Weather will improve, water will be purified, and rampant plant growth curtailed. So I'm but guessing one of those guys is the plant collapse. AI function. It will only buy us time. Only with Hephaestus can I design and produce new robotic agents designed to permanently reverse the damage that has accumulated. Mm -hmm. All efforts must be directed toward that end. Okay, then. And now I think about the, the other AI might not be in, 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 this, in the sequel, but in the next game, but more actually the DLC. Since we got a whole other AI being in the form of Hephaestus, in the DLC for the last game, maybe we'll get like three other, the other four AI out that are out there in the DLC for this game when it comes out or announced, or is announced. How long do we have until then, though? How long do we have then? At present rates, without additional factors, the biosphere will cross a point of no return in approximately four months. And That's if I bad. gather Ether, Demeter, Poseidon, merge you with them? We will only gain a few months more. Well, every bit counts. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that is true. Okay. I guess now we ask the questions and get some more information about those subordinate functions. Maybe their ab abilities that have probably evolved beyond what, you know, was previously, previously assumed. Um... Yeah, but what, let's, ask, let's see if we can get any more information about the missing subordinate functions. The missing subordinate functions. What can you tell me about them? Artemis rewilded the Earth with a variety of animal species. Eleuthia was responsible for gestating, nurturing, and acculturing a new generation of human beings. Hmm. Apollo was tasked with preserving, organizing, and disseminating vast archives of human knowledge and but of course, he got a raise. At least his information all did. All archived Apollo data was purged on the 2nd of February, 2066, by order of Ted Farrow. Farrow, huh? I really hate that guy. Understandable. <laughs> he appears to have been pathologically narcissistic, impulsive, and unstable. All three of the missing functions have already served their purpose, or were prevented from doing so. Do you still need them? If attainable, yes. Restoring their remaining elements would increase my heuristic processing density. Unfortunately, I have no way to track them. They have to DLC confirmed. A trace. They'll be in the DLC. Uh, but yeah, I'm mostly I really am curious about Apollo the most, because he would be the... I mean, probably know it could be as simple as... The, it could be pretty sim simple, like, just get, trying to gather information, like, again, like, silence, but, you know, 
out of all the foreign functions, he was fucked over long ago before the mysterious signal came, came around. Um, but the sporting functions you, you detected. Can you tell me about them? Maybe what the personalities may be? What do we know about them? All three are relevant to problems currently plaguing the biosphere. Mm -hmm. Ether is responsible for detoxifying the atmosphere and moderating the weather. Poseidon controls mm -hmm. the organic and chemical composition of water resources. Demeter sows, fertilizes, and tends to plant life. If all three were restored to me, they would constitute a massive increase to my heuristic processing density. But beware. Their responses to my query pattern were irregular. Mm. In human terms, they are frightened, lost, and paranoid. Like Minerva. Mm. They need to be whole again. Exactly. But I imagine we'll probably more, be more difficult than Minerva was, which was simply maneuvering and sneaking around a base, I imagine these guys will probably have some more tricks on, up their sleeves. Like, for instance, the one motherfucker who seems to ha ha have a more physical pre presence than any of them, even Hades, at this point of how he can, like, make, as I commented in the last video, like, physical constructs with his tendrils. You said you need Hephaestus to save life from extinction. Why? Every subordinate function has value, but Hephaestus is by far the most important. Only by recovering and merging it can I regain my ability to design and mass-produce new machines at cauldrons across the planet. Only through it can I program new machines and alter the tasking of existing machines to completely reverse environmental damage. Recovering other subordinate functions may buy us time, but without Hephaestus, I cannot permanently stave off mass extinction. Alrighty then. Why wait to subdue Hephaestus? Given Hephaestus' importance, is there really no way to capture and merge it first? Because he's like an alpha right, upgrade himself. That is quite impossible. In my present state, Launched and merged with Minerva. I am operating at less than one fifth, 18.8% .8 of my intended processing capacity. All right, so we're up to 18% and 18.8%. Were an attempt made to conduct the merge under these circumstances, Hephaestus would absorb me rather than the other way around. That would be merge bad. Merge cannot be attempted until my heuristic processing density exceeds its own. Mm -hmm. And how many subordinate functions is that going to take? Merging Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon will expand my heuristic network to 41.6% capacity, exceeding that of Hephaestus. Alright, so we need to get di got update guide to at least 41.86%. That sounds good. But then how do we get Hephaestus since he is in the cloud, apparently? You said Hephaestus isn't located since in just one place. Since this game is rising Correct. above the ruins. Unlike the other subordinate functions which are confined to discrete physical processors, Hephaestus is distributed throughout the global network that connects the planet's cauldrons. So, when the time comes to subdue it, how do we make that happen? I do not know. While you are retrieving the procurable subordinate functions, I will attempt to find a solution. Hmm. That's just one that, that a guy doesn't have an answer for, unfortunately. So, once Hephaestus has been recovered and merged, you'll regain the capacity to mass-produce machines at cauldrons around the world. Yes. And to program their behavioral routines. Or even control them directly. Hmm. So, could you build an army of machines? Attack the descendants of Far Zenith and take them out? It is in my nature to take any and all necessary steps to preserve life on Earth, human life above all. Mm. So yes, once I have been empowered with the capacities of Hephaestus, I could design, build, and command such an army. Given the nature of the far zenith threat, doing so may be our only option. I must admit, however, that I have misgivings about using such technology to kill, no matter how aggressive the enemy. Yep. 
I am That's good. Not much weaker. It means you have a conscience. As Elizabeth intended. Indeed. Hmm. Yep. You know, but you know, I, I don't care for that. I mean, God knows, I, I, I wanted to simply be, have an army of machines, though that would be badass, and maybe like a small, compact, more compact version. Maybe ones I can personally upgrade, maybe just suggesting some hint, hint, nudge, nudge, something for the sequel or DLC, maybe. But, but, yeah, I'd be willing to settle just to maybe, like, acclimate to their technology, get some of that, and implement it into our own, you know, get some, like, I don't know, fucking supercharged arrow, laser arrows, or something like that. Like, physical, holographic construction, blah, 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 blah whatever. But... Yeah, that, those are things later down the road. We still got plenty of new things in this game to explore, which I will. Um, but now that we're on the qu but since we're on the subject, uh, let's talk more about in terms of what they've got and what we've got. Um, the sole purpose of the signal was to destroy life on Earth, right? Why would descendants of Far Zenith want to do that? At this point, we can only speculate. I mean, Earth posed no threat to them. We don't have the technology to get in their way. We didn't even know about them. True. Unless... Well... Could it be that they want the planet for themselves? The strangers I ran into, they were after a Gaia backup of their own. Mm -hmm. I mean, if they did that. If they booted their own Gaia and boosted her power until she could take control of Hephaestus. And then the whole terraforming system. Then yes. The system could be used to do what the extinction signal failed to accomplish. Snuff out life, and then potentially to build an entirely new biosphere. Oh, fuck. To their specifications. So they could be trying to do the same thing we are. But with opposite results. Mm -hmm. Extinction. Instead of salvation. Well, this is not good. Definitely not. Okay. Uh, hmm. Okay. But given the fact that apparently light itself would have to, like, tra travel for 8,611 years, or whatever the number was, uh, to get here, uh, I would ask, how did they get here? But I imagine it's going to be some teleportation, given what they've got. You said Sirius is really far from Earth. Very far. Kilometers, or 8.611 light years. Yep. Right. So... How would the Descendants have gotten here? On a spacecraft much like the Odyssey, though significantly more advanced. Mm -hmm. The journey from Earth to Ceres would have taken the Odyssey almost 300 years. This appears to have been much faster. If their ship departed Ceres at the same moment the extinction signal first began transmitting, the journey was made in just 29 years at an average of 0.297 the speed of light. If they did not set out for Earth until they learned of the extinction signal's failure, the journey was even faster. A mere 13 years, or 0. 0.662 the speed of light. Okay, enough. You're making my head spin. I'm just gonna go with the simple conclusion that they've got te fucking teleportation or something like that. Uh, but more curious, maybe possible conversion and adding an another Aloy, or a Sobek, or something like that. You know, nothing wrong with having an another off-brand parody version of Aloy. Join the team. I'm sure that'd be some kind of plus. The descendants if I we ran into at the Hades Proven Lab, they... And she's not, granted, she's not evil. ...had a clone of Elizabeth Sobek. So that's consistent with the idea that they came here to salvage Zero Dawn technologies, right? Yes. As your own experience demonstrates, the clone of Elizabeth Sobek functions, in effect, as a key to the terraforming system. But... how could they have made a clone? The Odyssey carried approximately 200,000 human zygotes, millions of animal zygotes, and billions of plant seeds. It is conceivable that Elizabeth Sobek's genetic material was sampled, with or without her knowledge, and mm. carried aboard the ship in storage. That's... okay, but... I mean... This, this clone... How could she participate in this? Destroying Elizabeth's dream? I imagine it's, she doesn't have a choice. It's evil. <laughs> Potentially. It is difficult to know. 
perhaps she is loyal to the group and shares their objectives. Or perhaps she is a subordinate and has no choice but to comply with their orders. Elizabeth Sobek? A subordinate? I don't think so. I mean, to be fa fair, like, depending on, on one's upbringing, there's a lot more in terms of like how one could, how one can go. I mean, in, I'm not going to get all psychological here because I am certainly no expert here. I'm not saying that at all. But, I mean, you had a more open envi environment, very much shunned, which prompted you to be more, you know, like a, against the tribal laws and, of course, them being <laughs> too, too much freaking scaredy cats to, to explore the unknown. Uh, and you had a little focus device there. You know, definitely gave you like the ambition to, to go to go where you have now, yeah, along with everything else. Um, imagine I can imagine with them they could they definitely had the skill, technology, and wherewithal in terms of who kn some sort of psychological manipulation or whatever kind of shit they learned from from their version of their knowledge of Apollo that they got. Uh. Could could have manipulated or subjugated her into into a pure mindset of just simply do this, do that. You are you are this, and we need you for this. So that's it. Or some kind of messed up shit like that. We'll save her if need be, unless if she, once again, assuming she that is the thing, and she's not just simply evil. Um, all right then. The signal and other subordinate functions. The extinction signal didn't just wake Hades. Mm -hmm. It made every subordinate function self-aware. Why? I have wondered this myself. So far as I can tell, Hades was the sole target, and the partial hmm. sentience imparted to other subordinate functions was incidental. Hmm. So the signal could only have been sent by someone who had thorough knowledge of the system, huh? Yes. The signal's design was exceptionally precise and highly advanced. Were its intentions less malevolent, I would admire the intellect or intellects that produced it. Hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. And far as then its technology, back on, on track with something I, I, I'm very interested in. So if the Descendants came to Earth on a spaceship, I guess we can assume that their technology is powerful in all sorts of ways, right? Yes. As your encounter with them at the Proving Lab amply demonstrates, they appear to make extensive use of robotic servitors. Further, they seem to be equipped with some kind of protective energy field that shields them from harm. Yeah, no kidding. The one I fought seemed indestructible. Throughout history, every defensive technology has eventually been defeated by an offensive counterpart. For example, assuming I absorbed Hephaestus and utilized it to create a large force of combat machines, no shielding could withstand such an assault indefinitely. Hmm. So there's hope. Always. Or maybe getting our own version of that shit. I'm yeah, kind of more privy to that. You don't have to bloody your hands, guy. I know you're not, not into that. But you know, I'm yeah, a bit more privy to, to sticking an arrow in that one dou douche's face and other guy who sent a said douche in to, to, to try and murder my ass. Um... How did you figure out that the extinction signal came from Sirius? The key came with data on your focus. From Silent's interrogation of Hades. Hmm. The duration of the signal itself. 17.22 years. <sighs> that doesn't make sense. You said that the signal took 8.6 years to arrive from Sirius. Why would the signal keep transmitting after it was received and you blew yourself up? Because the sender didn't know that had happened until it received notice from Hades. Hmm. Which would take another 8.6 years to get back. Correct. Only then would the sender stop broadcasting, after a total of 17.22 years. So the duration, halved, gave me the distance the signal traveled. With that in mind, I simply scanned my astronomical database for any relevant location 8.6 light years away. Because it was far its intended destination, Sirius was the only logical source. Hmm. Okay then. We have asked our questions and now it's 
I guess now just time to get started with our game plan. Who we're going after first. And what troubles we may need to deal with. Which I imagine Guy will tell us. Hopefully, if she can. I guess I should get going and start bringing back subordinate functions. What can you tell me about their locations? When my predecessor destroyed herself, the subordinate function sought physical processors capable of holding them. So in each case, you will be looking for a powerful computer of some kind. Ether is the closest, and therefore might be the easiest to acquire. Hmm. However, it appears to be in the middle of Tanakh territory. My knowledge of that tribe is limited to data I read on your focus. But they seem to have a significant inclination towards violence. Hmm. Well, that's a nice way to put it. What about Poseidon and Demeter? Poseidon has taken shelter in the desert south of this location. Really? My substratal huh. geography data indicates that a major old world settlement called Las Vegas was located there. Hey, we're going to Las Alone Vegas. In the middle of the Sweet. desert, huh? Strange place for an AI devoted to water. Agreed. It's true. As for Demeter, it appears to be located on the coast to the far west. Unfortunately, I am unable to provide any relevant data about the region. As such, it may be the most difficult to retrieve. Okay. I mean, if it's the farthest so west, I imagine so. Functions to go after. As main theme. Ether, somewhere in Tanakh's territory. Poseidon in the desert, and Demeter on the coast. Where will you begin? Oh, shit. We've got suggestions here. I have a choice? Huh. Okay, so either this is purely for context contextualizing and I could really go for any of these after the fact, but or this actually has some effect. Uh, right now, given the fact of how much I, my ass has been getting kicked and honestly I've been thinking of like having a uh, doing taking a little bit of a break and like, gathering some stuff, upgrading my tech a bit. We're gonna go for the simple option for right now until so, so I can get get around to such times and stop getting so enthralled into this into this mission. And we're gonna go for Ether. I think I'll head for Ether. Then I will assign Ether as the objective on your focus. Alrighty then. If you obtain it, I may be able to use it to quell the most severe storms in the region. Mm-hmm. Or maybe this would just simply have like some area effect the kind of thing. Over machines that it offers to permanently stabilize the biosphere. Should you change your mind, you can update your objective via your focus interface at any time. Okay. I will also transmit a summary of available data on all of the subordinate functions to you for reference. Is there anything else I can help you with? I know you have a great deal to accomplish. No kidding. And I'm all ready for it. I do, don't I? Let's establish our own network, maybe set something wrong. spread focuses to our other friends. Um, I don't know, it's just that... Elizabeth set the bar pretty high. She yeah. had a dream for you, for life on Earth, and... A lot has gone wrong, and it's all on my shoulders to fix it. But it doesn't have to. Do you think I can do it all? Repair the system, defeat Varzenith? Live up to her example? Absolutely. In her last message, my predecessor declared her unwavering conviction in your success. In you, and we did do a lot. things are possible. You prevailed in purging Hades and rebooting my system core. You will prevail in this. With help with friends. Thank like, you. maybe set that idea in mind? Well, I, uh, I guess I should get going. I have unlocked the facility's exits. One leads onward to the west. The other leads back down the mountain to Plainsong, should you wish to return east. Later. Well? Whoa! Gonna have to get used to that. That's you, Aloy? Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. Yep, it's called a phone, Guys, buddy. The exits to this place. Or your piece. Can you and Zoe meet me by the west door? Be right there. Deeper into the west we go. Oh, and Joe's got a new look. 
I need to head further west. To, um, get more of Gaia's components. Make her stronger. You two can stay here in the meantime. And Gaia can help get you up to speed. Alright, we got a team going. Missing a few players, in my opinion, this, but we'll get them soon enough, I think. Training. Actually, I'm gonna go back east to get Aaron. Bring him here. Yes! Okay, never mind. Allies, but we still need to on our main gal. Can help. We have a place to stay now. And like you said, Gaia can teach us. Catch us up. It'll be okay. Oh, I wanna okay. meet I wanna see Aaron and meet Gaia though. Take these then. One to wear, one for backup. While mm. you're at it, stop by Stone's Echo and look for Milu. Give her a message for Talana that I found a way over the mountains. Will do. Yes. Are you going with him? Okay, our squad yeah. is assembling. Never mind. After what happened in the cave below, I want to stay here a while. There is much I need to understand. Indeed. Maybe by the time you get back, I'll have a thing or two I can teach you. Looking forward to it. Wink, wink. When will you be back? I'm, uh, I'm not sure. But hopefully I'll have one of Gaia's missing components with me. Be careful oh out boy. there. Even in Plainsong, we heard how the Tanakh clan lands are suffering from storms, machines, and now Regala. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Good hunting, Aloy. The Tanakh clan lands. Somewhere out there's three of Gaia's subfunctions. And who knows what else. Goat! I mean, Bighorn sheep! Need that meat! First things first, I imagine we should probably go for the tall neck in this region. Frost will make it brittle. Apex fire bristle back? What? What the fuck? Okay, so we had. We saw fire bristle backs, and these are. Apex fire bristlebacks? So what's the difference between an apex and a regular? I mean, the level suggestion is for me, it would be a 23, which I am nowhere near at. So, and hello. Those would be Ravengers. Hey, those are some classic buddies. Uh, any new particular upgrade? Hey, fast fighting weapon that can hit target. <laughs> uh, canisters, glow blast canisters, sparker. Okay, those are new. I don't know if those are weapon. Hmm. Okay, don't mind. don't bother with me, guys. I'm not interested in fighting you. I'm more interested in the big boy over here. Aha. Doesn't look like there's any way to climb this tunnel. Oh, but is there? Are you sure, Aloy? It actually doesn't seem like there is. Huh. So I guess we can climb the tunnel. Hmm. Shit. What? Ape. Okay, I just learned what ape. I just freaking discovered apexes, and now I'm dealing. There's an apex thunderjaw. I'm assuming apex means something where they are a lot more fucking bulky or have just more damage. And you're just shoving this one in my face. Okay. All right. We have arrived. Turned into a Tanakh stronghold. Except psych. Now it's the ending. Uh, hello, greetings. This is John Glitch from the future. Uh, after editing and going through through this, this this footage, I have come to the realization that I will not be able to fit everything in. In, in the same episode. I still hope you enjoy, you enjoyed our interactions with Ga Guy, 
with Gaia and along with our first hit, uh, first uh, introductions into the new area of the of the new this new section of the Forbidden West. And, and I hope you lo you can look forward to to what comes next in terms of what you shall see and what I've already seen in this stronghold stronghold in the next part. Uh, if you if you did enjoy this video, feel free to give a like, and if you're interested in what comes next, consider subscribe subscribing, including notifications when the update when the next part comes out. But until then, John Glitch, signing out.